What's up internet? My name is Sammy Fightmaster and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing one of Netflix's newest and in my opinion weirdest shows that they have out right now and that is season one of the show Ratchet. Oh my goodness was this show weird. Like it was good but it's so twisted that it like takes you a little bit to unpack. So season one of Ratchet dropped on September 18th and it is based off of a character called Nurse Ratchet from the 1962 book One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. As you probably know there is a very famous movie starring Jack Nicholson with the same title and there is a Nurse Ratchet in that movie but I don't know how similar that that Nurse Ratchet is or even the book's Nurse Ratchet is with the Nurse Ratchet that we meet in this show. I have not seen or read One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, so I had no background going into this at all. I could only tell from the trailer, it's going to be dark, it's going to be a little mysterious. Now when I watched the trailer, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. All I knew is that it was starring Sarah Paulson, who I love and who a lot of people know from American Horror Story. I do not because I hate scary things. I don't like to be scared. So I've never seen American Horror Story, but a lot of people have. I've seen her in other things and she is just a phenomenal actress. So I knew I would like the show just for the sole purpose of her being in it. There are also some other American Horror Story alums in the show as well. Not to mention this is another show from the brain of Ryan Murphy, who also was involved with American Horror Story. So this show is set in 1947 and we get introduced to Mildred Ratchet, who is getting ready to start working as a nurse at a leading psychiatric hospital. However, we soon discover that Nurse Ratchet has some dark and mysterious motives as to why she wants to work at this particular hospital. This show is insane. Like there's no other word for it. It's very, very dark. I mean, Mildred's just whole personality is not very inviting. She doesn't put off a friendly vibe. So she's got kind of like this dark aspect just to being her. So throughout the show, we get to see a lot of things that Mildred chooses to do, things that she's motivated by, some glimpses of her past, and it's all super dark and like a little disturbing. It was just a lot to take mentally in this show. Um, it's only eight episodes, but they pack a punch into the thriller twist and turns and darkness of the show. It is also very, very gruesome. It is so gross in many parts of the show. All the violence, you see all the guts and blood and... Ugh, no, ugh, I don't like it. I've seen a lot of posts online where people are like wishing that Netflix would have put warnings at the beginning of each episode, at least the beginning of the episodes that have a lot of the gruesome scenes, to like warn people, hey, this is about to get gross. And I honestly am not opposed to that. I think that definitely there should be something, like I know the little like tag at the top that tells you the rating and it'll tell you like why it has that rating. Gruesome is in that, but I think it needs a little extra warning to come across the screen like right in front of you so you don't have to be looking up at that tag. Oh my gosh, it was so gross. Like within the first five minutes of the show, you're seeing way too much. It, oh, <clears throat> I'm thinking about it right now and it's so bad. And the second episode just about made me throw up. Like I will be honest, I was very close to physically vomiting. It oh the sounds the second episode is titled ice pick and let's just say they do something with an ice pick that oh i don't ever need to hear that sound again it was so gross but even after all of that i don't like gross things as you can tell i don't like seeing a bunch of blood and stuff on the screen i'm just not into it but even with all of that i found this show strangely intriguing for the amount of blood guts darkness. There was a lot of tension that they kept within the script and the plot twists that they put in there and it was enough to keep you engaged in the show. There were always new things getting introduced. For the most part the first couple episodes you kind of get introduced to a new psychiatric patient that they are dealing with 
in each episode and that's kind of what you focus on is like that person along with Mildred. So that was kind of nice. You got to see they touched on a lot of different psychological disorders and how they would have been handled way back in the day before what we now have is modern medicine and modern treatments. However, in this show, I felt like I could not keep up with what Mildred truly wanted and what she was actually trying to do because like they kept introducing new things and Mildred is kind of like the puppet master of the show. She's got her hand in kind of everything. And she's telling all these different sides, different things. Like I kept feeling like I knew where she was going. And then I didn't. The next episode, her motive changed and I don't know. I just felt like I couldn't keep up with what she was really trying to accomplish throughout the show. Also, the first, I guess, half of the season, they're kind of setting a lot of things up with her being involved in this hospital and then the last half of the season felt like things got very chaotic like there's a lot of things that they introduced towards the end of the season a lot of new turns that they were taking that i felt like when it came to the last episode didn't fully come together at the end um like they took they added some characters and used some characters in different ways that i didn't see what the entire point was for it. I am going to be making a spoiler video because I just need to talk about some of the things that are happening in the show. So I will talk more about this in there, but I don't want to spoil it on this video. You could definitely tell that this was a Ryan Murphy show just by the way that some of the scenes were directed. It gave a very similar feel to me, like how some of the scenes in Hollywood were directed. It felt very similar to that. Like a lot of the scenes at the hospital felt like the way that they used the camera was kind of similar to how they use it in Hollywood, which is another Ryan Murphy show, another Netflix Ryan Murphy show. So like I already said, this show stars Sarah Paulson, who a lot of people know from American Horror Story. She was also in Glass, 12 Years a Slave, Ocean's 8, several other things. She's an amazing actress. I love her. She did phenomenal in this show. This show also stars Finn Whitrock, who is another American Horror Story alum. I know him best from Halloween Town High. I just watched it this weekend and I saw him and I was like, oh, hey. So yeah, if you don't like scary things and Halloween Town is kind of like your cap, you might know him from there. Also in this show, Cynthia Nixon from Sex and the City, John John Briones, and so many other amazing actors and actresses in the show. The cast did phenomenal. I have to give it to them. Netflix does very well with casting and I think everybody was cast perfectly for their role. I'm gonna give this show three and a half stars because for the most part, I did really like it. It was very intriguing, even though it was so gross in some spots, so weird in some spots. I really did like it. It did have some issues, in my opinion, fully connecting storylines that they introduced and some of the turns that they took, it just felt like there was no need for. I would recommend watching this show if thrillers, mystery, <laughs> really gross shows are your thing. It's a good show. The acting is really, really good in it and it does take a lot of turns that you just don't see coming. It is streaming now on Netflix. It's already been picked up for a season two, which is definitely guaranteed to be very interesting if season one is any judge of that. It's only eight episodes for the first season. The episodes range from about 45 minutes to an hour. So it can be done in a day. I don't suggest it for your mental health. Like I said earlier, I am going to be making a spoiler video, which if you've already seen the show and you've seen some of my other spoiler videos, you know at least one thing we're going to be talking about. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, welcome to my channel. And I would really love and appreciate it if you subscribe at the end of this video. And then after you subscribe, hit the bell off to the side to be notified when I post new videos. Well, that is all that I've got for you today. So I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.